so we're in a very different setup today. Usually, we have a hippo, um, as always. Usually, actually my camera's right here and you see the wall that's behind y'all. So I switched it because this is actually my makeup collection, in case you didn't know, it is in this Alex Six drawers. I've done a full makeup collection video, which I will link below. Um, because I'm sitting on the ground, my dogs want to be very, very helpful in this video. So if that drives you crazy, I apologize, but they're my children and I can't tell them no. Um, so, that being said, today I'm going to be doing a project pan. I'm starting a new one. I already have a 17 by 17 going on. So if you're interested in that, I will leave um, my whole project pan playlist down below. But today we're going to start a 4 by the 4th of July. Now the reason, Hippo, calm down baby. The reason why we're in this different setup is because I'm going to do it differently. So I've been watching a lot of project pans lately and I've become obsessed with the whole roulette style of doing project pan. So in case you don't know what that means, it means that you have some options and you put them in a thing and you just choose them out and you don't really know what you're going to get. And I think that's really cool because honestly, if I was just to pick out four products from my collection, it's like, okay, well, if you want to use those up, you can use those up anyway. Like you can use up whatever you want, whenever you want, if that makes sense. So instead, I'm going to kind of limit myself and I'm going to, I have some options. This is not a collab, but if you want to join in, I think it's going to be really exciting. I came up with some options um, for the 4th, 4 by the 4th of July. Um, I think they're really fun, so I hope you like them. I'm really excited about it, so let's just get into it. So I'm going to read you all the options, because whenever they don't, and they don't choose something, I'm like, but what else could you have done? So mine's very themed, because in case you don't know, I love a theme. I am all about a good theme. So the 4th of July is the theme, obviously. So the options are a beach, white, hot dog, patriotic, fireworks, amber waves of grain, purple mountains majesty, red and blue. So we have red, white, and blue. Um, and then sunshine. So I put all four in this cute little mug. Got seahorses on it. It's got hippocampi on it, and we're gonna pick. We're gonna hippo. Hippo and Kanga like to fight, like all brothers and sisters. Do you want to pick one? All right. So I'm not looking, obviously, because that's cheating. What is the first one? So I think I know what I'm gonna do for that. This is my foundation and primer drawer, and I think I'm gonna try to use up this foundation or this primer. This is the Tim2 Base Smooth and Matte Primer. Um, and it is valued at $8.75. I got this in an Ipsy bag. Um, some of my makeup collection I have priced, so I'll tell you the price um, as I go along. But if I don't have a price, then I can't really tell you. So this is um, my little uh, primer. I want to put this in here because I am actually normal to dry, so I don't really need a matte primer. But I do think it's smoothing, which is good. Um, I do have like visible pores like everybody. So I'm intrigued to like get some more use out of it. Obviously it is white. Um, I know my background's pretty white, but it is white. Um, I'm pretty much just started. So I'm probably like right around the T for Tim 2. So there's that one. So next, let's see what we have. Oh, we got two, we got two, okay. Patriotic, I know which one I'm gonna do for this. And the second one, is Amber Waves. Okay, so I have been kind of thinking about this. So I know some of the products. I'm gonna lift y'all up. So this is part of my nail polish collection. I have done a nail polish collection video as well if you wanna see that. Um, but I want to choose this nail polish for Patriotic. Oh, let me sit back down and get us all situated. Okay, so this is the Sally Hansen Hardest Nails Extreme Wear. I have a lot of these and I don't love them. I think that they don't apply as easily as they should. This is in the shade 720 Beach Ball. But look, it is literally red, white, and blue all in one product. So if this doesn't scream, yo, I love some America, I don't know what does. And then Amber Waves, I think. I was thinking about using a an eyeshadow, but I already have some neutral eyeshadows in my 17 by 17, so I don't want to overdo it with that. So I think I'm going to use up this guy. Um, it is kind of an ambery shade. It is the Borghese Splendor Brightening Makeup. 
So I actually put this in my bottom five highlighter. Hippo, stop. I actually put this in my bottom five highlighters because I don't love it. It's very metallic and I, you too. This is not the time to have a fight. Go over there, hippocampus, get on the couch. Get on the couch. He usually does that, but of course right now he doesn't want to. He's, he's a ham. Um, I put this in my bottom five highlighters because it's pretty, but it's super metallic. And it just, it's hard to work with because it's very liquidy. So it's hard to just put like as an actual highlighter. I don't know. Um, I'm probably about here-ish. I will mark it once it's all settled down. Um, and this is valued at $30. So that would be good to use it up. Um, and it's one of the first products I ever got in a birch box. And I've had birch box for three and a half years. So I think it's time to, I think it's time. So we have these three products. And the last one is blue. So I think I know what I want to do with this, and it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. So um, I like to put like a, a pop of color on my lower lash line. Today I have um, some green from the Sm a Smashbox palette. It's in the shade Ivy. Um, I just think it's really pretty. So I would like to do that. And I think... I want to do a blue shadow. The issue is I have a lot of eyeshadow. So if y'all want, let me see if I can put it down. So this is my neutral eyeshadow palette drawer. This is my colorful eyeshadow palette drawer. And this is my single eyeshadows. So I don't have a blue that has a lot of good use out of it by any means. You two are driving me crazy. Um, by any means, I have to squinch down. So, I'm probably not going to be able to use up an entire blue shadow. Let me use this guy way back here. In the way back. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, squinch you up. Look at this. We make it work, guys. We make it work. So, for blue, I want to use this Sephora Colorful Eyeshadow. Um, it's in the shade Coracal Punch. So this is actually something that I got as a 100 point perk, but you can't buy it on Sephora's website. I think it's a, it's a Sephora, a Sephora Online Canada exclusive, if that makes sense. Um, I don't really know, but I can't find it. So uh, I haven't priced this out, so I have no idea how much this is worth. But there it is. It's a blue with a lot of silver shimmer. It's really pretty. It's a little hard to work with. I, you know, I have so much eyeshadow that I have so many things that are similar to other things, if we're being honest. Um, because this is pretty new, I mean, you can see there's not even really a dent in it. I won't be able to finish this up. Um, today is March 28th. So I only, I have like three months. Yeah, because April, May, June. And then it'll be at the beginning of July. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to use it up, but maybe I can hit pan. At least have a big dent. I would like to be able to hit pan at least. And if you don't know, um, if you don't watch my monthly makeup bag series, I will go ahead and link that below as well. But once I've hit pan on a product, it goes into my monthly makeup bag and it stays there until it's all the way used up. And I do that because I think that sometimes we get so excited about hitting pan on something and then we just stop using it. And so instead of doing that, um, you know, I want to make sure that once I hit pan, I keep on using it because it's not gone. Um, so maybe I can at least hit pan on it and then it'll be in that monthly makeup bag until it's all used up. Um, so there we go. So again, we have white, patriotic, amber waves of grain, and blue. So I think that was a good, exciting um, project pan. I think that these are all realistic items. Um, and I'm really excited to do this. I think it's fun to like kind of not really know what you're going to get. Um, so I hope you're excited about it. I am sorry that my dogs are being absolutely insane. They literally never play, ever, because Kanga hates hip up. But um, with me on the ground, they decided that playtime is now. So I'm sorry if that's driving you crazy. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments, anything at all down below. I love speaking to y'all. It's one of my favorite parts about doing YouTube. So with that, I will see y'all real soon. Bye.